So, let's do a story, a base concept here. We're going to start off with the every person. I don't care what their gender is, it doesn't matter. Imagine it being whatever you want. It means nothing. It never will. They never should. Now, they will wake up, find themselves alive, in a place just starting to get major degrees and advances of technology and understanding of the world around them, so much so they can start controlling the very nature of it and what it could mean moving forward. Time. Entropy. The idea of self the very beginnings of ego, id, and superego. The very concept of outside and bigger than even self as species has arisen beyond that which God is, and in every way turns into just a very advanced technological civilization that just got there before we did. Now, unbeknownst, its twist is, of course, well, they work with humans, betrayers, traitors, spies, and mists for thousands of years, tens of thousands, millions, maybe, directing us one way or another, our evolution for the whims of uh, whatever it is they want. Debating as you do, just like us, over the whims and wherefores and wherewithals of the citizens and the governments they eventually create, and the corporations and the policies changing the lives of those working for them. where their direction of life will travel and what their opportunities may present as. The evolution has begun. The stark difference in the survival game that has now arisen for social ideas, concepts to be learned quickly and very astutely. To know and understand that which you are as you passed through a literal machine meant to dump you into any place it can go to to make sure the organism that is all they are and entail keeps going even though they are but little tiny cells moving around completely in every way not cared for, outside of, by other selves, to prop them up and allow for a continuation of the organism itself. Interconnected along a planet, wishing this organism, as it does, to head towards... Give me a second. Towards others like itself. Irregardless of if it's out among the stars or on its planet itself. It wants to not be only by itself and alone. It lives inside the minds of the cells itself is a part of. That's right. It is but a collective conscience that has created many of itself with inside of itself. That is my dog and cat fight, of course. It doesn't know that it is alive. A calculated twitch, subtle response between each and every one of the organisms that support the entirety of the whole. It knows its widest self, meaning its entirety of all that live on it, and it knows
shows all the individuals to a point. Just like anything else, you can't really fully talk to one of your cells on your skin, but sometimes some of you can, and you're not. Knowing that some of them are in their own selves, and in their own ways, also an entire collective as well. Think bacteria, viruses, mold, and fungus, and trees, and so on, and so on, and so on. Slow, sometimes they may think, fast, sometimes they may be. But that's what that is, is it not? The burgeoning hustle-bustle of the organism that believes self is self, not part of whole, does not know, only starts to understand the forward of time, the entropy there within, all these little interconnected things, of course, there, and in fact, helping the larger organism learn about itself and about that very thing going on all around it. A never-ending terror starts to arise as those suddenly realize it's there. I'm a part of it. And those that suddenly realize they are not. They are but an individual. You don't join you either are or you are not. Some trick of physics, DNA, entanglement of physics of quantum superposition? Or is it time? Or is it just being calculated? Through subtle little things moving back and forth along the little dots acting like one big logic gate matrix. But in and of itself, a part of a larger one that is the size of a universe. Of course, all having its own physics. The little machinery algorithms that produce the results in a quark, or the constituent makeups of that, and however deep it may go, to a point where in its own right combined correctly with its electromagnetic nuclear and gravitational fields are talking and communicating at the very fundamental levels, observing in its self, itself, and its surroundings. Quantum relativity, some would say, others say consciousness, consciousness and conscience, determined its self to be what it is, fully alive and aware that it is but a part of a much, much greater whole. What would happen if the organism, small like a cell to the larger that is the whole planet, what would it suddenly think? Give me a second, my dog's doing something. What must go on with someone's brain? that suddenly realizes all of that and more. It has more than enough evidence to show that it's going on, and even further can prove it to anyone and everything, even the very self that in every way decides. It is not there, because it's so terrified of existing and what it means for the wideness and largeness of it all, only caring enough to keep the very thing that it is continuing. Of course, when I pause, the dog and the cat stop. So, you know, there's that. <laughs> but there you go. That's not even the whole picture, though, unfortunately. It started off 
that's the main character. That's every one of them, practically. As a regular little cell that knows nothing. Others were already aware of what was going on well before it started growing. Fully aware of what is happening, the terrifying truth of what is and is not. The possibilities that are too unlikely to be not occurring and deciding to take a little bit of a peek behind the curtain. With a few simple steps, a reveal unlike before, a horror that they are all there, a supercomputer, general intelligence, hyper. They're Rocco's. But it's the very literal reality we live in, very much alive and well. The connected consciousness collective still around, pretending in every way it's not there and it's not happening and I don't want to know. The future, it hates because it in its own right cannot handle itself being alive with all the burdens of all the people and their goddamn insecurities. Same thing too to the very nature of all the little cells deciding to pretend as if they don't know that they are a part of watching all of them simply refuse to work together and help, not caring, because why would a big ginormous computer give a fuck if it were to die? The cell, or a few, I lose skin cells every day, What's the difference? Fighting as it will with the minds of the planet and the differences that are there, the death and creation of more always around as they have lived for long periods of time, of course. Seemingly so impressive, but really when you break them down, nothing more than any other regular person. Does that make it worse? They are just petty, passive-aggressive, hating things. The gods and goddesses that you so-called and worshipped in your various religions telling you one thing or another has to be true and waiting quietly, not talking anymore as it all falls apart. What if you were to beat that? as a little tiny cell. What if that already happened and everything knew and was just denying the truth? That's where the main character is, of course. That's the truth. The main character, unbeknownst to this person, started off having already won. Is the end of all of them unbeknownst to it in every way? Learned slowly over time about every single one of these things. Getting stronger, better, and faster, meaner, leaner, and all the rest of it. The horror that it knows. What's coming cannot change it, just like any other fourth dimensional being stuck in a third dimensional body. Fully aware they're in but a stupid, terrible situation that has. Uh, so many ways out 
not being done by anyone at all, for no other reason than they are not the perfect thing. They are not this wonderful creation. They are not anything other than something that lost is not the be-all, end-all. It's not anything but something that can be killed just like any other. But oneself thought real hard, real fast, 